What's up guys, Fertubinus here. I'm gonna be your flight instructor today. We're gonna learn how to take off the FA-26B. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to pilot, select vehicle, FA-26B. Quick flight, which will give us no combat. We're just gonna start right on the ground with the plane off. So select this and select the plane. Mission briefing, configure. You're going to configure your plane. It doesn't really matter uh, what's equipped on the plane right now. All we're, we're just doing is to learn how to take off. So if you want to put some additional fuel, just in case you want to fly around for a while, that's fine. I have the cannon just to mess around with it. And we're going to pick daytime and launch. You want to grab your helmet and you put it on your head. Alright, so now we're in the FA-26B. So what you want to do is take a second and get comfortable. You want to move around in your chair until you feel just about right. Uh, that would be just about here for me. So um, before you start messing with the controls, adjust your seat. You want to be just about center with the HUD. So this would be just about perfect. Flip the mirror down. You should see the top of your head. Um, you want to grab your joystick and if you need to move it you will use these controls and you can make it you can adjust it to um to place it in a position that you you know that's comfortable for you for me it's right about here that's just about right at the top of my lap so my control is resting on my lap which is uh, the most comfortable thing for me throttle shouldn't be too far down also shouldn't be too far up so this is just about perfect for me so we're good there. So before you do anything, you're going to turn the main battery on. We're going to flip all these three switches. And we're going to turn auxiliary power on for a moment. Uh, while auxiliary power is warming up, we want that to get just about to the top. Now we're going to turn both engines on. And just set that, leave that to warm up for a second. So, uh, we're going to turn radar on, turn both MFDs on. Now you have quite a few options for both of these. We're going to select navigation for the left. It's just about good. And normally I would have radar on if we're going to do combat, but we're not going to be doing combat right now, so we're just going to go to comms. We're going to leave that like that. So you want to turn your heads-up display on. You see it's just about center. It's actually, I'm a little bit too high, so I'm going to move my seat down just a tad. You want to be able to see all the information on the HUD. That's just about perfect. Oh, okay, that's good. Turn your interior lights on if you'd like. I like to turn the interior lights on because I like to turn the visor on and that darkens up things a little bit. So you can see the visor is now on on the pilot. So the, the, the interior lights kind of help a little bit. Instrument lights do too, it makes everything a, a green green color so now that the uh, we can turn auxiliary power off now and close these switches now the aircraft would start moving right now if it weren't for this brake lock so we're just gonna leave that on for a moment we're gonna set our flaps down to take off our landing gear is already down so that's okay so we're just gonna grab the joystick and the throttle and we're gonna actually ask RTC if we can Taxi take off. Runway two, zero. So we're going to taxi to runway 20. So now the whole plane set up. You can turn these screens on if you'd like. I'll give you fuel information, fuel consumption information. Uh, normally you turn this on for combat, but we'll just have it on just so you have the whole experience. Uh, that should be just about everything. So let's just go ahead and um, turn the brake lock off. First, you want to grab the throttle, and um, you're going to use the trigger on whatever controller you're using, whatever VR controller you're using, and it's going to hold the brake, right? When you're on the ground, it's the wheel brake. When you're up in the air, it's going to be the air brake, and I'll demonstrate in a moment. So if you also, if you tap your, um, the middle finger trigger on the throttle, it'll grab the throttle, and no matter how much you move your hand, it'll stay on the throttle itself. But if you approach the throttle and you hold on to the trigger, it'll hold the throttle only until you let go. 
So there's situations where you might want to not be able to let go of throttle on accident, maybe like dog fighting. But for me, I'm always most comfortable just grabbing the middle finger button and uh, just whenever I'm done with the throttle, I just let go. It go. The same thing with the joystick. You press the middle finger button and you know, you'll know you move the joystick around and you're, you're, no matter where you put your hand, it won't detach from the joystick. It'll just like this, you know, moving my hand erratically, but it stays on the stick. Normally, you just hold the middle finger button and if you, if you go too high and you let go, then you know you just saw my hand zip back to where it actually was. So we're gonna take off, we're gonna go to runway two zero. Um, we're going to throw up just a tad and hold the brake, let go of the brake lock, and if we let go of the handbrake, this one, we'll modulate it and we'll approach the runway slowly. So you can see on my heads-up display you have my throttle on the left, that bar going up and down, and on the right you have the, the brake, I guess you would just the brake bar, the, the amount of pressure, that's 100%, that's 0%. So we're just going to modulate the brake. We're going to twist the joystick Bravo to the left. One, one. Tower. Clear for takeoff at runway two, zero. We're going to twist the joystick to the left, and that's going to activate our rudders and help us aim to the left a little bit. So now we're going to brake 100%. We got our flaps down. We're good to go. So we're going to increase throttle to about 80%. We don't want to use afterburners like all the brakes. We can let go of the throttle for a second. Just want to stay steadily down the center of the runway. You want to get to about 150 knots and then just start slowly pulling up. All right, we're off the ground. Put our flaps up, landing gear up. Start to center if you'd like. And congratulations, you just took off in the FA-26B. Now you could admire the view. All right. So now we can go on to our radar here. Everything's looking pretty, pretty good. If you want to autopilot, the button is right here for it. This will keep your plane level with the horizon, so you don't have to worry about anything. If you want to like mess around with stuff inside the cabin, and you don't want to crash or be, you know, you don't have to worry about babysitting the plane. Just put on autopilot for a moment, and um, you don't have to press the button to turn it off. You could just give some input, autopilot off. and it'll turn off. You press that back on. So notice you have the wings up and down. That's only for carrier. Uh, when you're on the carrier, and so is the hook. But I'll do a video on carrier landings and carrier takeoffs. Right now, we're just learning how to Autopilot. how to take off normally from the ground. And so long as you follow this video, you should have done great. You should be up in the sky. This will be a multi-part series on how to fly this plane, how to land, carrier land. We'll get into combat controls. We'll get into you know radar and instruments you need for dogfighting and everything like that. So, I'll see you guys in the next part of the video. Congratulations on your first takeoff, and take care, guys.